Hello YouTube and welcome back to my Pokemon Black Randomized Nuzlocke. Um, we're just going to head straight on into this game and skip these credits. But I hope you guys um, can hear me loud and clear. I've got my mic set up now. And hopefully it won't glitch out like it did last episode. And I won't have to re narrate over everything because that was so annoying. Um, so hopefully that's all fixed and stuff now. Um, I hope you guys are as excited as I am to continue on this um, Nuzlocke. I was really, really excited to continue playing it after I recorded the first episode, but I wasn't able to record the next episode while it was rendering because it was rendering so slowly, it was just lagging out my whole PC. I think it took like seven hours total to render in the end because it was so long. And uh, I actually burnt out my laptop battery, my battery was locked on 5% which wasn't good. So for those of you guys who can't remember what happened last episode, we did manage to catch ourselves a flying squirrel that we called Nutsy, uh, a chandelier called Last Light, and we still have our starter. Um, no thanks to that water spout Umbreon, we almost lost our starter. But we are rocking the multi-scale Houndor, um, which is pretty OP. So we're gonna take a stroll into this city. I'm pretty sure this is where our first gym is gonna be. But without further ado, in case I get tag teamed by some people, we're gonna go straight up and um, heal our mons because I don't really feel like um, losing this Nuzlocke this early in the game so we'll just go ahead and heal up um, get a Pokemon nice and healthy although we're doing pretty well we've got half a team already and um, I'm pretty sure there's some new encounters we have to go find that Munna or something don't we um, I'm not sure what the Nuzlocke rules are on obtained Pokemon I'm pretty sure you're allowed to use them still aren't you um, hopefully so we'll go have a gander around here and um, we have the running shoes, why am I walking everywhere? So we're gonna go in here and um, gonna get challenged. I can't remember even like what the storyline of Black is, it's been that long since I played it. And I didn't really enjoy it because you were locked into using just the Gen 5 Pokemon which I did not like any of really apart from maybe Purloin and a couple. Um, didn't really like them much at all. Whimsicott is a nice Pokemon though. She's going to be sending out the Whimsicott, and we're easily going to be able to take that thing out with a Brayford. I see no reason not to, so we may as well just easily one-shot that thing. Although we might take a bit of solid recoil damage from that. Um, but we're going to be easily able to take that thing out, which is awesome. Um, I'm pretty much adoring the fact that we have a Brayford on our Remolga. Ooh, that's going to do a nasty amount of recoil there. Um, are we, we are going to gain a level from that, though, so that makes it totally worth it. And we couldn't really hit it out with anything else. But she's going to send in a Scrafty as well, which just makes me want to keep battling and um, just go for another brief bid. So um, we'll just stay in and go for another one. And hopefully don't you know take too much recoil. I have got some potions. I probably should have bought some more just to be on the safe side. But we're just sweeping with our flying squirrel of death just coming in and completely obliterating this uh, girl's team. We are going to take a nasty amount of recoil. Are we going to gain another level? Not quite. We could have been lucky number 13. Or is it unlucky number 13? I think it's unlucky. Um, so maybe it's a good job we didn't peak 13. So we're going to beat her and um, I'm just going to play it safe here and give Nutsy our, um, one of our potions. If I can even find where potions are stored. I think we might be on super potions pretty soon. Um, I should probably go and have a gander. So we're gonna go around here. I'm pretty sure we need to go get cut from um, the gym, isn't it, that you get cut? I hope I actually do get cut, shit, and it's not all randomized. So his goal in life is to outperform some people or something. I wasn't really reading that. He's got three Pokemon, and he's a rocker. Tortu- uh, uh oh. <laughs> well. I hope this thing hasn't got Stone Edge. Fuck. Oh my god, we might actually lose the Pokemon here because the other two are fire types and this one's weak to rock. I'm gonna go for a Thunder Punch and hope we can one shot this thing. We are quite a fair few levels higher than it, but it is defensive. Oh, not a problem. Not a problem. We're gonna be able to take that thing out because that thing could have like Stone Edge or something or I don't know, some kind of OP rock move that would take us out. And obviously, he's water type 2. We are going to hit level 12. I don't know why I was chatting about 13. I cannot count. <laughs> 12 is before 13. Awkward. Um, you can tell I didn't pass mass. So, he, oh my god, he's bringing out Lord Helix. He's bringing out Lord Helix. We're going to have to. I didn't even. Oh, oh shit. He's got pressure. <laughs> well, whatever works for you. We're going to be pretty much sweeping this guy with. Um, Nutsy here. 
And that's going to be the end of Oma Star. I'm going to get some nice experience from that as well. Do duo. Oh, this is pretty easy. Amolga's going to be pretty good against them, um, all these Pokemon. Maybe it's not such a bad thing we didn't get that Salamance after all. Even though I've got a minus attack nature, I'm hitting, you know, doing some damage. <laughs> I'm getting the job done. This Flying Squirrel OP. So, goodbye. Two heads ain't better than one, buddy. You are down and out for the count. So, is she gonna challenge us to a battle or is she gonna give us an item? Excuse me. Let me catch up with you. The controls on my emulator are so, like, so to respond. Oh my goodness! <laughs> she wants an Oho? Yeah, I'll take that Oho. <laughs> well then, am I even allowed to use that? I'm I'm not even sure. <laughs> what should I call it? Um Phoenix? I don't even know how to spell Phoenix. P O N I X? I I don't even know how to spell. Um I'm gonna assume that's it and I don't think I'll be using this guy anyway because that's just going to make the Nuzlocke not so fun. Um, let's see what ability it's got anyway, just for the sake of it. He's level 10. Lacks nature. Oh my god, it's got drought! <gasps> Shit, that's actually amazing. Holy nuts. Holy nuts. Um. I'm just going to pause the game a second just to see if Nuzlocke rules let you have Pokemon that you've obtained because I'm not actually sure. So I'm just going to pause this and uh, pause the sound recorder and be back with you guys in a millisecond. So I'm back and um, I'm not actually sure. There's loads and loads of different Nuzlocke rules that I didn't even know about that I haven't been applying. Like apparently you can't go to marts and stuff but screw that this is my first Nuzlocke. I need to buy potions. Um, there's something saying you can't catch legendary Pokemon but I don't really know about Pokemon gifted to you in game but this thing is a legendary it's a fire type and it's got the ability drought so I feel like it would probably just be too OP to keep so I'm gonna go ahead and um, just go unbox this thing unfortunately even though it probably would have been really useful for us I'm just gonna go and get rid of this thing so we're gonna run back and box it ASAP because I don't want to be considered cheating by using it and if you guys feel like I should be using it then leave a comment in the comment section below and I will unbox this bad boy because this thing would be an absolute beast to hit the elite four with if we don't die. Though technically it was the first Pokemon given to me on that um, route so I, I really don't know um, the rules and stuff because I've never really done any of this before. So let's just go plop our Oho in there. Damn that thing would be so OP as well I cannot believe it gets drought. It doesn't even get drought as a legit ability does it? Which would be quite good since, you know, it's a flying god of sun and whatnot. So, w as soon as we've got him, we're gonna get rid of him just because I feel like I wanna make this thing challenging. Um, although I'm probably gonna regret that pretty soon. So, we're gonna go and um, see what item this is. Hopefully, it's a nice randomized item. We've got a berry. Well, that's not very good. Hmm. I don't think we can do anything else here. So that's the end of the dream yard exploration. Do 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 do. The music's so catchy. Oh, do we have to go to that tower? You don't seem to have any gym badges. With your lack of experience, you'll have a hard time in the future. Here's some friendly advice. Challenge the gym leader in this town and test your ability. Okay, can't go that way apparently. Oh, was that a person we could challenge? We need levels before we go to the gym. Come here. Did you know how techno machines work? I don't want to know how. I always find it weird that you could like put a CD in a Pokemon and it would learn a move. I don't think you know that should happen. Oh, there's a an item down there. Should we go get it? Where? Oh, we can get it this way. I hope it's something really OP, like a Master Ball. Safari Ball. Well, it was a ball. 
and I don't think we'll be able to get that ball any other way, so that would be cool to catch some kind of interesting Pokemon in. I think this is the gym, isn't it? Are you looking for the gym leader? He's not here. He could be in the trainer school. If you want to challenge him, please go find him. The trainer school is not far from this gym. Um, this the trainer school? Sharon's here. Hey Lauren, have you come looking for the gym leader? He was here talking about Pokemon types until just a few moments ago. Maybe you walked right past him. By the way, Lauren, will you have a battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battles. Well, let's see how effective my items are. Or maybe I should go test how well I can battle without items. Anyway, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. Try trolling with my hand door and use Wonder Room or Switcheroo or whatever it is that I've got. Oh shit, he's got Carvana. It's a good job we've got, um, he's got Skamori! What? I'd like to say he could safely swap in, but, um, I kind of really don't want to. Thunder Punch is, Thunder Punch is still going to be super effective. Because it is flying type. Oh, it is. Awesome. Please don't kill me. Drill Peck. Oh, that's pretty safe. We are fair levels higher. Maybe I shouldn't have grinded so much. Let's go for an Electro Ball to finish this thing off. I can't believe he's got a Skomori. <laughs> That's scary. I thought... Hmm. I didn't know Skomori was still be too electric. I swear that, like... Why do people always run Fire Blast instead of... Oh, I guess for Ferrothorns as well. We're gonna gain a level and we're finally gonna get to level 13. Um... Bolt Strike! Oh yes! I think we want to learn Bolt Strike. I do. I really do. Is it physical? It's physical 130 base power. I think we'll take that overcharge beam. Yep, okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> We're gonna have those OP flying squirrel in the whole fucking world. I really hope we don't lose Nazi. It's become my like all-time favourite. Here's Carvana. We'll keep battling. I probably should um, change my battle style to um, is it switch or locked or not switch? Something to stop it from um, swapping around anyway. Uh, we'll go for Thunder Punch. I would go for Bolt Strike, but I don't want it to miss and then end up dying to something. So I'm just going to Thunder Punch that thing and kill it and that's going to be dead easy peasy. No razor shelling on my hand door anymore, you bitch. So we're going to defeat him and um, he says... Some people have to learn. Well, he's got lots to learn. So learning to use items as well is definitely important then. Oh, here, Lauren, I'll give you these berries. Four orange berries, get me. It's all about the citrus, mate. If you're giving a Pokemon this kind of berry to hold, it will eat it up to heal up when its HP goes down in battle. But if you give a Pokemon man-made items like potions to ha hold, they can't use them. Well, good luck then. I remember I tried to do that once and it didn't work. I was like, what? Why is it not working? I'm gonna look in the bin because I'm still hold still holding on, holding out to hope that there. I'm gonna find a master ball in a bin somewhere. I don't even know if you can actually find items in bins. So the gym leader is meant to be somewhere. Oh, he's here. Yes, yes, I'm the gym leader of this town. You are right. You want to challenge the gym? In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? Tepic. Well, Houndor. Actually, get it right. I see. It's weak against water type Pokemon. I think you need to prepare to face that type. I'll be waiting for you inside. Right, so we're gonna go on in. Um, I think I might make a quick trip to the Pokemon Center and um, not walk into the wrong side of the door for starters. Go in and heal up. We do not want to um, die, so we'll just go ahead and speed up through. Thanks for waiting, we've restored your Pokemon to full health. Hope to see you again. I don't think we really need that Oho anyway because We've got a Molga with Bolt Strike for any water types that are pretty scary, so I think we'll be pretty safe, hopefully. Hello, I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for the trainers. Hey, Clyde and Guide, I see what you did there. The trainers challenging a Pokemon gym. We appreciate your challenge in the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. I miss them doing that. They don't do that in X and Y or anything like that. So I guess I have to stand on fire because that was the starter I picked. Oh, not. Okay, whatever puts you back. I don't really want to dodge any battles, but there is that rule where you can't go back and heal while you're 
um, in a gym, which I'm not sure if I'm going to apply or not. Because um, I've seen people playing Nuzlocke that haven't done that, and I didn't even know that was a thing until I was checking about Oho. Ho ho. Ho 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 ho. Um, you were challenged by Manager Max. Oh shit. He's a manager. He's manager of the gym. He's got a pincer. Well, we can break with that thing for days. Nutsy is literally the man. I I'm in love with this guy. If only it was like this mint, like legit in real life, it was actually physical and it was really good. Maybe it can have a better ability than um, Limba, I think is the ability that I've got. Oh, ouch, that recoil. Oh, I need to change my battle to set after this. And if I forget through the whole episode, you guys tell me in the comments and I'll remember to do it. We got £440 for winning. No, he wasn't a very rich manager then. Um, options. Battle scene, battle style, set. Sound stereo, save before. Uh, tech speed. We can put tech speed on fast, that might help. Oh, we have to pick the one that's super effective against the kitten. That makes sense. I'm so slow. I can't believe I didn't actually like, pick up on that. Oh shit, I didn't heal up Nutsy. But this person's a water type trainer, so we can probably just spam Thunder Punch or Bolt Strike, whatever floats our boat, tickles our pickle, and toots our flutes. So she's a rich kid, um, but she's a waitress. <laughs> I wish I could be a rich kid while I'm a waitress. <gasps> she's gonna have an Altaria. Oh yeah, because it's totally randomised, isn't it? So it's not even gonna keep the type. However, this thing is probably still susceptible to a Bolt Strike. I think I'm gonna go for it and hope I don't miss. Or should I just go for a Thunder Punch? YOLO. We may as well. We haven't used this move yet. I hope this kills. It's gonna kind of resist it, isn't it? Because it's dragon. Oh, we get the power off. Nice. And we get power hacks first turn. Cannot complain. So, um... We'll go for an Electro Ball then, because we'll be outspeeding this thing since it's paralyzed. I don't really want to go for Brave Bows and get more recoil damage. Well, that's going to easily take that out. That's an OP move set right there. Move to Paralyze and then just finish it off with an Electro Ball. We're almost going to get to level 15 as well. She's going to pull out a Togetic. Uh, no fairy typing for you, buddy. I kind of want to swap in um, Last Light or something because we really need to get some levels on the go. Defog. I'm gonna go back into Nutsy now. Or should I go into Houndor? I go into Nutsy because she's pretty much carrying the team. When did you get your XP share or whatever in um, Black and White? I'm not even sure. Truant? Well, wow, that's helpful. Go for a Bolt Strike just because uh, it's a pretty cool animation and I cannot believe that we've got a Bolt Strike in Mulga. I mean. We're definitely going to have a physical Amolga here. We've got Brave Bird, Bolt Strike, and Thunder Punch. So we're going to be able to take that thing out and level up to level 15. Hopefully Chandelure can get some levels too. She's going to go to level 10, which is nice. Something about popular dishes. So we're going to swap um, Blue Star in on this. I kind of want to get some levels and uh, not have just to rely on Amolga. I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna be a grass guy anyway, but um, this Pokemon will gonna be randomized, so it really doesn't matter. Welcome to the Saturn City Pokemon Gym. I'm Chili. I light up things up with fire type Pokemon. I'm water type specialist. My name is Cress. Shouldn't the grass one be Cress? Because Cress is a plant. Then again, you do get water Cress. Maybe that's where they were going with that. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And my name is Silen. I like grass like Pokemon. Um, you see, as for all why the three of us, um, we're all here as well, uh oh enough. The three of us will decide whom you'll battle. It'll be based on the type of type of the first Pokemon you chose. Cress, that is indeed the case. And the partner you first chose was a fire type, it seems. That's correct. It shall be, and I am es esteemed? My esteemed water types that you will face in battle. It'll be me and my esteemed water types. There we go. It's the Slaxo coming through. <laughs> what incredible luck for you to 
Incredible luck, you, you get to battle us. The best among the three of us. Hashtag the struggles of reading. He's only got two. He's a rich boy, apparently. He's got a Bulbasaur. Nice water type you got there, mate. Be a shame if someone flame bursted it. Oh shit, it's a couple of levels higher than us, but we should be okay. Oh, easy. 6 0, <laughs> easy peasy. <laughs> Hopefully, Handel's gonna get a nice level from there as well. Almost. He's got a Jinx as well, also weak to fire, so. Uh... Oh, he's got 4 1. My hopes and dreams, my last Pokemon. Should we just go for a blue fire and hope we don't miss? He's gonna go for an Ice Beam. Mate, level 14 and got Ice Beam. Shit! That must have. That was my multi skip. Oh my god. Now I'm quite scared. Now I'm actually quite scared. Oh, balls. I should have just gone Flame Burst. Oh, it's gonna go for an Ice Shard. That shouldn't do too much, should it? No. Sweet. You go for a Flame Burst, hopefully take it out. Not take it out. Okay. Well, if I go for a Potion, are we gonna get our multi scale back? This 50. And um, how much does potion do? 20. Right order it is. I could actually swipe into Chandelure. Oh my god. Right. Chandler's even less of a level than Pandora is. I really want to go for Flame Burst, but if it goes for another Ice Beam, I don't know if we'd survive. Um. Our Chandler is timid. Uh, Nutsy is going to be weak to ice, but... Right, I'm going to swap into Chandler. I'm just risking it for a biscuit. I'm... I'm scared. I'm scared. We might actually lose Chandelier, but I'd rather lose Chandelier than anyone else. He's gonna go for an Ice Shard. I'm gonna go for a Shadow Force. Oh, we're not gonna write speed. Is this gonna kill us? Is this gonna kill us? No, thank god. We should be able to finish this thing off there. I was actually really scared of losing Handle because if it did that much through my multi scale, then I'm pretty sure Handle wouldn't have survived. This should finish it off because it's super effective. Sweet! And Chandelure is hopefully going to get some bare levels going on as well. Level 11! Please learn a new move. Level 12! Please learn a new move. Nope. Boost is going to hit level 12 too. And we defeated him. Why, wow, you're quite remarkable. It's the Pokemon League rules, so please take this badge. Whee, we got our first badge. It's Is it the trio badge? I think it might be called the trio badge. I'm gonna put that in our snazzy badge box. So we actually made it through our first gym, which is pretty exciting. I'm quite chuffed that we didn't die. Gym badges are proof of a trainer's abilities. If you have one badge Pokemon, including traded Pokemon, it's a level 20, we'll obey you without question. We also want you to have this. Eye Shard. I want to put the TM83 in the TM and HM's case. Work up is not what that TM contains, do not lie to me. Can any of our Pokemon actually learn Eye Shard? Um, I've got it set to random, but to prefer the same type, so there's a high chance that it won't. But you never know. It'd be nice if a Molga could. Ah, oh, the two fire types can. What? What is this? Um, I'm gonna actually put it on handle because it would be mm, maybe better than Switcheroo, and it's um. Then again, it's kind of physical, so maybe it'd be better on the Chandelure. To Chandel. I'm actually really gutted Nazi can't learn it because that would be OP. Uh, 
Uh, we'll go over Nightmare, I think, because we're not really going to need that. We've got Physical Chandelier, ladies and gentlemen. Don't knock it if you tried it. Physical Chandelier with Ice Shard. Let's go. Right, so we've finished that gym, and uh, we're pretty much on to the next place, wherever we're off to. Is it? Can you buy potions? Oh, too late. Hey there, I'm Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please, follow me. Oh, this is where we have to listen to the chat about uh, Mishana or whatever, don't we? You're going to meet all of the Pokemon in the Yova region, am I right? Oh, the stairs are right here. My room is upstairs. Here, come on, go upstairs. He's trying to lure me into a room. I've only just met you. So, like I said, I'm Fennel, and as you can see, I am a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. She asked me to help you guys. So, I'll give you something to help you. This is a hidden machine for you. That's how we get cut. There are some moves that Pokemon can use even when it's not fighting. With this hidden machine, you can teach your Pokemon a move called cut. It can cut down a small tree. And you can use the hidden machines as many times as you want, like a TM, isn't that great? But it's difficult to make a Pokemon forget a hidden move once it learns it. And I'd like to ask you a favour too. There's a place called Dream Yard on the outskirts of Citron City. I'd like some of the Dream Mist that Pokemon there called Mashana gives off. With that, I'll be able to use Game Sync blah blah blah. <laughs> Don't Game Sync, Game Sync is useless. Right, I'll just speed through this because no one really wants to listen to this. Wait, am I meant to be off to the Dream Yard? I'm assuming so. Now the only problem is, I'm not sure if any of our Pokemon can learn Cut. Um... And I didn't even know if I wanted to... Maybe I could pull out the Oho and use Cut. Oh, they're all able to learn what Pokemon to teach Cut to, and honestly I'm not really sure who I want... Like, kind of want to learn it. Um... I'd say Nazi because it's our strongest, but I think I'm just going to go Chandelier because it's got more kind of garbage moves so it doesn't matter so much. Um, I'm going to just get rid of Nightshade because I think, oh then again, Nightshade's good for catching Pokemon. Well, this is really tough. i tell you what. Um... I'm going to go and pull that Oho that we were given and see if that can learn cut and I will not use it in any battles but I just don't want to waste um, a slot on cut and Oho and Oho is unable so that's absolutely useless we're just going to have to put cut on um, blue star instead of switcheroo which is a real shame because Aromatherapy is going to possibly be quite useful and now if it wants to learn a dark type move we're going to have to get rid of another move which is going to be really irritating but beggars can't be choosers so we're just going to have to deal with it. So, oh my god, I'm absolutely useless at this. Roms, how do I use them? So we're going to, well no we don't want to withdraw. I am so useless at this. Right, we want to move Pokemon. I don't know why there's a withdraw and a deposit. This would just be move, because that just makes everyone's life so much easier. Thumbs up if you think that should be a thing, because it totally should be. Um, we still need to think of a question of the day for this episode, and I'm not really sure what I could make it. Oh, I have to try and think when we have a good conversation going. Maybe question of the day should be, do you think HM moves should have types? Although most of them do, don't they? Except for cut, it's just a bit of crap. Do you think HM moves should have other like effects? Like cut could be super effective on grass types because you use it for cutting down trees or something. That would be the question of the day. Do you think um, HM moves should have secondary effects in battles? Right, I don't even know where I'm going. I'm going to cut this tree, I'm so distracted. Go, Handor. You've cut that tree. Well, it kind of makes sense, you know, dogs dig up trees. Hi Lauren, are you looking for a mysterious Pokemon too? Well, that was exciting. Ooh, I hear it. Did you hear that? 
Hey, did you hear the sound coming from the other side of the wall? Come on, let's go see. There it is. Moon. Oh, wait. We found you, Muna. Come on, come on, make with some dream mist. Ooh. Huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we doing? The Pokemon Muna and Mushrana emit a vapor. A mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. We're going to use that to make people want to realize that their Pokemon will show them the dreams to manipula manipulate their hearts. Luna! Come on, spit out that dream mist! They want about Pokemon elaboration, but they're kicking a Pokemon. That's animal cruelty right there. You're kicking a Pokemon to make it give off dream mist? That's mean. Why? You're trainers too, right? That's right. We're Pokemon trainers too, but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you two, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon. And selling Pokemon free means that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So, on that note, we're gonna rescue your Pokemon from you. What? It don't hurt, Lauren. Great, we're having our first plasma battle. Unless you count N as a plasma battle. Swimmer Joe. He likes to be part of Team Plasma, but he's a casual swimmer, you know. When well, he's not doing other things. Liberating Pokemon, kicking fetus Pokemon for Dream Mist. So I'm just gonna go for wow. Should we go for a cut, see how much it does? Oh JK, just rolling your buddy. We're gonna go for a coin burst. Holy shit! I didn't even think about how much um, HP Hounder is on. Oh my goodness. Bail out, bail out. I didn't heal them. Shit, this was a bad idea. This is such a bad idea. Defense kill. Oh shit. I am timid, so I'm gonna write speed no matter what anyway. Um, I'm gonna go for an eye shard just because it might, you know, kill it. I think it has got a defense kill, and I've got a shitty nature, and it's not stab. It's gonna kill. Beautiful. See, I shard people. Oh, it was a crit! That crit might have actually really mattered. We need some levels. We're gonna go to level 13. Ooh, spooky. Friday the 13th. <gasps> Maybe that's what we should have called it. So we're gonna defeat that swimmer Joe. We're not taking them seriously because they're kids. Well, whatever, I'm next. Oh shit, we don't even get healed in between. <laughs> it's gonna send Hounder right first and Hounder's almost dead. Oh, I'm scared, I'm so scared. Oh, they've only got one. Oh, this guy's a swimmer too. Oh, he's got Lapras. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna lose a Pokemon, we're gonna lose a Pokemon, we're gonna lose a Pokemon. It's level 10, so I could swap Nutsy in. I just really hope it doesn't go for Ice Beam. I'm so scared right now. I really do. Oh, I don't want to lose Nutsy. I don't really want to lose Last Light because, although I really, really like Handor, I'm scared. Right. Oh crap. I haven't even got any good potions or anything. We're gonna lose a Pokemon. We are gonna lose a Pokemon. I really don't wanna lose Nazi. Really, really don't wanna swap in. Oh, this is all my fault because I didn't heal up. I'd have my multi scale back. 15. Right. I'm doing it. I'm swapping into Nazi. I'm just hoping for the best. I'm hoping for the dire best. Come on. Come on, squirrel. Oh my god, that fuck. We could have stayed in the handle. That might have given us a type advantage. Um, do I risk going for a bolt strike? What's its accuracy? I just want to kill this thing real bad. Check moves. Oh, not you. Check bolt strike. Accuracy 85. No, we're not risking that. We'll just go for another punch. 75 damage, but it's now going to be unstabbed because we are a water type. We'll just go straight for another punch. 
Come on, that's you can do it, buddy. And then now we're in water type, we don't have to worry about ice type moves. And we're almost gonna take it out. God, this is scary stuff. This is scary, scary stuff. I'm just gonna heal its HP up as well, but we're pretty sound because we're gonna white speed this thing and be able to finish it off. And Handle might get a nice level up as well. Hopefully get a decent move. So Lapras is gonna faint. And we are gonna gain XP. And Brusa is gonna get to level 13. And wants to then bubble beam. Do you think that's got anything to do with the fact that we just got soaked? Oh no, it wasn't handled, it got soaked. Um, it could be potentially useful against other... Um, nah, let's not. It's gonna be really low damage anyway, so there's no point. Uh, we're gonna keep our old moves, thanks. Give up on bubble beam. So we're gonna defeat Swimmer Webster. This is a nightmare! I tell you what's a nightmare going into all the I tell you if Sharon pops up now we're so done. I can't believe we lost, but we have to obtain the dream mist. Come on, make with the dream mist! Knock it off! What are you two doing goofing off? We team plasma shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. You cannot fulfill your duties. T, this isn't... Jidus when he's gathering all followers, or Jidus when he's trying to control people by tricking them. His speeches. Yeah. This is Jidus from when his plan has failed and he's about to issue punishment. Anyway, let's hurry and say we're sorry and hope he forgives us. That was weird. Sure. What was that just now? That person called Gidus? I don't even know how to pronounce that name. Appeared all over the place and it wasn't real, right? Could it, could it have been a dream? And that Pokemon? Oh. Oh no. Oh, thank god. I couldn't wait so I came over. Is that Mashana? Mushana. Mooney! <laughs> Ooh, they left something. Did something happen? Oh, Fennel. Well, you see, Muna was here, but then Team Plasma and Muna and Mashana came and it showed up with something like a dream. And then Team Plasma. I think I followed that. See, Mashana from Revolts from Muna. So, seeing Muna in trouble, it used its power making dreams into reality to save Muna. Which means. Wait a second. This is Dreamers! With this, I can complete my research. You two come to the house later, okay? Phew, how random was that? Lauren, why don't you go to Fennel's house? Me? Well, I'm gonna just look around at the Pokemon we saw just now. Um, well, I'm gonna play it safe, bail out, and go and heal my Pokemon, um, and then go to Fennel's. I really, really, really hope we don't run into Sharon before we make it to the Pokemon Center. And we don't, thank god. So let's get some bear speed through healing on the go. And I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here because it's probably going to be getting quite long and I don't want to um, do what I did last time and end up with a really really long episode that you guys might not want to watch. So I'm just going to wrap that up, save the game here and continue on um, in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're going to go and get our first encounter in the um, dream yard because the oho is not going to count and um i'll catch you then in the next episode hope you guys enjoyed this one and i will see you around goodbye